Hello, and welcome to the virtual elevator pitch. Today in the elevator, we have Amelia, and she's going to tell us all about her brand, Bijou de Mimi. You've got 30 seconds to tell us all about it. Bijou de Mimi is a trending, colourful London-based jewellery brand. We specialise in high-quality, reasonable hoops, cuffs and chains, perfect for stacking your ears. I founded the brand out of boredom from my bedroom in lockdown after losing my dream internship due to COVID, because I realised that at that time, there was literally no market for colourful jewellery without breaking the bank. All of our earrings are sold in pairs and have a 40 karat gold plating, embellished in colourful stones either with a dainty design or unique pendant. Since then we've been stocked in Wolf and Badger, Urban Outfitters, Aurelia and are in conversations with ASOS, but primarily the jewellery is available to buy on our website bijoudemimi.com. You sent me a box, I know you've got things there but I can show them up closer, so I'm going to open the box, I have no idea what your jewellery's like. Oh my god, yes, I can see why Lila loved them, so I'm going to put my glasses on. Basically, you kind of have your base and then you have things you can add to it as well. Or do they always come with something that you add? So there's some there. So pretty. Really pretty. Do you just have each season little new things that you choose to put on or is there always a selection? So there's always loads of selections and everything comes in six different colours. And then there's silver in some of the designs, but silver really doesn't sell anywhere near as well. So we kind of stick to gold and then work on the best sellers in silver. But we sort of bring everything out in every colour. And then there's just different designs in every colour. They look very expensive, Amelia. How much are they? Well, they're not expensive at all. So a pair of earrings it's ranges from £20 to 23 What you're holding right now is 45 because that has four pairs and a it's cuff chain. That cuff that you're holding there is actually... You don't need a piercing for it as well, which is what we love about those. Of that, yes, because as a mother of a girl, I'm always like, please don't pierce again. In fact, I have a rule with my daughter about it. Let's talk about your business, because I heard on the grapevine that you did something similar to me to raise money for your business. So when you had the idea in lockdown and you wanted to get the things made, how did you fund it, Amelia? Well, I actually sold loads of my clothes on Depop, made £400, and with that, bought wholesale a couple of different pieces, sold them until they sold out and with that money took it from there and started designing and manufacturing once I had the money to design and manufacture my own. So when you did those first few, how did you sell them? Because you didn't maybe have the money for the website. Did you sell them directly on your own Depop shop? No, I actually had built a website, but it was before I bought the domain Bijou de Mimi and I sold it via that. But I did have them on Depop as well at the same time. When you say you built a website, did you actually do it yourself during lockdown? Did you have help doing it? Because that's something that a lot of people think how do I build a website? So what did you, how did you do that? So I was introduced to it all by my boyfriend at the time who was really interested in that sort of thing. And he showed me all of the different platforms that you can build a website on. And I, at the time, chose Wix. We've now moved to Shopify because even though it's more expensive, I definitely think it's better. Short-term plan, Wix was brilliant because you can really edit it. You can do anything with it. Like I have no technology experience in the slightest, but... I found Wix really, really easy and we sort of built it and went from there. And also you're controlling it because there used to be a time I think somebody would get an agency to do it and then you're at the behest of the agency when they've got the time to upload new pictures or anything or if you don't have a content management system easily. So I love the idea of how you took what you knew and thought about what you didn't know and then just work with what you had until you learned more. Yeah, exactly. I've literally learned so much. Like I could not have said my 18 year old self would have known how to do this, but you just learn so much on the way. How old are you, Amelia? 21. And how long has Bijou de Mimi been going? Probably two and a half years now. You're a real younger generation Shark Tank entrepreneur. Do you ever watch Shark Tank? So much. No, I actually don't. But I do know what you're talking about. I think it's inspiring listening to your story because I remember I was in business and I followed this guy called Gary V on Instagram. And Gary V is this guy who started and invested in big companies and stuff. But he always says, you don't need to raise money for that first bit. And also then you own the amount of your company you need to own, which is all of it, whilst you're formulating what you want it to be. So you don't have any outside investor trying to control your vision of what the business should be. And then when you're ready and you might want to expand and might think I need a bit more, because I did the same. I kind of thought, what have I got? I don't have any nice jewellery. I don't have a nice picture. So I sold my clothes for that first bit of starting Trinity London. So I just love your story. Thank you so much. And no, exactly. I also think it's so nice, like, or owning the whole thing. Like, when I am ready, I will seek investment, but I really want it to be perfect and exactly my vision before I do that. But yeah, hopefully we'll be there soon. But I think... 
I also, one really strong part of Bijou is the branding. And I've really built like such a brand image on like the colour pink and everything like that. So, And that makes you stand out from the crowd because, you know, there's lots of makeup companies, there's lots of jewellery companies. But I think there's something very joyful about your branding for the target market also you're looking at. I mean, it's just, you feel it's fun and cool and you've got great imagery of people wearing it that is sort of inspiring an individual. And I love your comedic element of how you're doing your branding. I think I love comedy. It's very difficult to do the combination. People are either chic as brands or they're fun as brands and combining that, which is something we both have in common too. It's about how do we bring humor into something that's also aspirational and chic, but accessible. You've really done that. I really like that. Yeah. The direction you're going, the way you started, I think it's amazing for other people watching who are thinking, how do I get the idea out of my head onto the kitchen table and get started? It's really important. Like, I love the fact that I've helped girls younger than me realize, like, well, maybe they can start a business as well. And I think it's like school really doesn't push that in the slightest. And I think it's really like a great thing to do. So there are good things that come out of lockdown. Well, exactly. And sure are. makes you think about stuff. Well, thank you so much for coming on the Elevator Pitch. And um, we're going to put a link in for everything. But I love talking to you. Perfect. Thank you so, so much.